Pods are allocated a private IP address by default and cannot be reached outside of the cluster. Use the kubectl port forward command to map a local port to a port inside the monolith pod. Use two terminals, one to run the kubectl port forward command and the other to issue curl commands. Now in our new terminal, we'll start talking to our pod. Okay, let's see what happens when we hit the secure endpoint. Uh-oh, let's try logging in to get an auth token back from our monolith. I'll use the super secret password, password, as my password. We'll use the JWT token from the output to hit our secure endpoint. And it works, and everything is good in the world again. Use the kubectl logs command to view the logs for the monolith pod. Let's open another terminal and use the dash F flag to get a stream of logs happening in real time. And as you can see, the logs are updating in real time. We can use the kubectl exec command to run an interactive shell inside the monolith pod. This can come in handy when you want to troubleshoot from within the container. For example, once we have a shell into the monolith container, we can test external connectivity using the ping command. Now when you're done with the interactive shell, be sure to log out. As you can see, interacting with pods is as easy as using the kubectl command. Whether you're trying to hit your containers remotely or trying to get a login shell for troubleshooting, Kubernetes provides everything you need to get up and going.